This is Star Wars The Clone Wars ARF Trooper, or the Camino ARF Trooper uh, CW56. The figure is part of the fourth wave of the 2011 Clone Wars figures. Pretty cool artwork. Here's the rest of the assortment. It has the new uh, bubble packaging, as you can see. Uh, the card is taped at the back with the whole figures and its accessories all in one uh, big bubble. That's pretty cool. Includes speeder board. Includes battle game card and die in base. Yay. And as the packaging says it, here is the battle game card and base plus the die. Die! Anyway. Uh, yes, folks, it is yet another repaint of the Arf Trooper mold. This is, I think, a fifth version of the mold, which is pretty cool. I don't mind one bit. I mean, I like this particular uh, figure mold because of the articulation, really. And Hasbro has not managed to scrimp on this figure, which is really, really cool. Uh, he still has all the articulation of the old Clone Wars uh, troopers, he's got ball joint and neck, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, ball hinge wrist. This one goes up and down, this one goes in and out. Uh, ball jointed upper torso, ball hinge hips. This is the probably addition to the old uh, clone trooper uh, uh, figure base. And this is ball hinge knees and ball hinge ankles. So very, very cool. You can articulate this guy in all sorts of poses. Uh, great repaint on him. Just fantastic detail. I really, really love what they did with this one. I like it a lot better than the one that came with the Republic uh, Speeder, Scout Speeder. That one was just poorly made. It had a great concept, but poorly made. This one is excellent. Eh, a few quality issues. They're very, very minor. Uh, no major, major problems with the with the paint app so very very cool uh why would you get this figure if you love the clone wars you gotta get this guy uh if you like the mold you like the arf troopers especially this particular mold i love it you gotta get this figure you can't have enough of the arf troopers also probably the most interesting thing about this figure is really the accessories got a ton of them um, we've got this, um, what do you call it, the speeder board, or as I call it, the Marty McFly hoverboard in the Clone Wars. It's got a removable turbine, uh, and it still has a provision for the lightsaber because this is exactly the same speeder board or hoverboard that came with Master Quinlan Voss. Um, yeah, the figure from the fifth wave of the 2010 uh, Clone Wars. I don't have him right now. And have it with me right now. It's up on a shelf. But anyway, it's exactly the same thing that they just repainted with all sorts of details for a uh, ARF Trooper. So that's that. Uh, the figure also comes with an additional DC-15 rifle. So very, very cool. Which, if you wish, you could, you could mount on the hoverboard. Which I wouldn't know why you would do that, but you, you could do that. That's pretty cool. And why does he have another rifle? So that he's going to look awesome. Uh, the other final accessory that he comes with is this uh, rifle rack that's made of soft rubbery plastic. I don't understand why a lot of people have been really mentioning that uh, or complaining that they almost lost this thing um, when they opened the packaging. This thing, they didn't even notice this thing. I cannot imagine why you would do that it's just clipped right there at the bottom it's been covered by the card but when you take it out it's like at the bottom it's stuck there you can't miss it i mean i don't understand how people could miss it but anyway some people said they almost missed this one because it fell off but anyway it's like clipped in to the bubble and you have to remove it so uh you can't miss this trust me when you buy this figure you'll, you'll see it when you take it out of packaging Anyway, I could be wrong. Mine was probably just packaged differently. Um, it, it's just made of soft rubber plastic. It's not painted. There's, it doesn't, the rifles don't clip on. You can have them like that. Or you can have it resting like this. I actually like it better to rest um, with, with the handle facing towards it. Uh, because you can actually just squeeze the scope uh, underneath the rack and it'll sort of stay in place and not move so that's pretty cool yeah you could do that if you have several more from the extra weapons that you get um, 
and the other figures you can actually have a rack and have them hold it like that so very very cool i really like this figure i definitely would recommend it uh it, it's a great addition to your clone wars set uh, to your clone wars uh, uh troops clone troopers if you're troop building the arf troopers definitely a great addition um uh, to, to your collection if you don't like repaints like my wife she absolutely hates it still cannot understand why i have to buy repaints of the clones that's why they're clones you gotta have lots of them anyway um there you go uh i like it definitely um easily a 10 out of 10 for me uh star wars the clone wars the Camino Arf Trooper uh, CW56. If you want to know my latest toy purchases and upcoming reviews, please follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com/fxfrance. Thanks for watching.